In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a system to publish your posts on nine different social media at once. Also, if you stay to the end of this video, I will give you all of the resources needed for this entire automation, along with the JSON template to exactly import it to your Naden instance, so afterwards you need to set up only your credentials and you're ready to go. But without further speaking, let's actually start. Because in this video, I will be showing you how to build this entire system from scratch. And the first question you may ask is, what are these weird um, pink nodes inside this automation? So basically, it's Blotato, and it allows us to create viral posts and faceless videos. However, for this case, uh, we'll be just using it to publish the content on nine different social media. And basically, also, if you watch this channel for some time, you know I'm using Blotato for many different circumstances, so I used it inside um, different automations on this channel. But previously, we had a problem because we needed to connect Blotato via HTTP request. So connect, for example, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. And we needed to provide this different, like weird JSON code. So let me show you. Inside, we have the ID, we've got the text, content, and so on. So it wasn't that intuitive. However, lately, they released their node inside NADEN. And now it's much simpler. Because what we need to do, we need to only connect our account. So basically, if we go overhead to this platform, uh, we choose our free trial. Um, by the way, if you would like to get 20% off for the Blotado, and this video is not sponsored by, by this platform, um, you can go ahead um, to the description of this video where I will put the link and you get 20% off. Okay, so it's pretty decent offer. But basically, if you go ahead to Blotado, you go to the settings, you can connect all of your accounts, I've got them already connected, and then right away you can publish your content inside and then via your automation. And how this automation works, basically we've got our schedule trigger, and then we just trigger this automation every day. Then what we do, we get the content from our Google Sheets, and this is another, like this is one form of just storing our content, however you can connect I mean, um, you can just customize this automation. So let's say you can upload content from somewhere else or just create the content, let's say with ChatGBT or I don't know, other different um, nodes or actions before um, this, this specific part, okay? However, for this case, I'm taking the content from here and we've got ID, title, caption, media URL and status. So we check for the status. Then basically we just set up our media URL and then we upload the content to Blodado and afterwards, um, we just use Blotato um, notes to just publish the content. And now, basically, let me show you how it works. So I will just disable these two nodes because I don't have an account here inside the threads and blue sky. But for others, it's totally fine. So now I can execute the workflow and it takes this specific content because it's not published. Um, so the first line. And now um, it posts content right away to all of the social media at once. It's so, so handy. It's so useful. And basically, yeah, you can do everything at once. Also, remember, you can customize this template. I will share it with you 100% for free. So watch this video to the end. However, right now, let's get into the actual build of the specific workflow. So it's pretty easy to set up. So first things first, we've got our schedule trigger and we trigger that every day. That's pretty straightforward. Then what we do, what we, do we just get um, row from the Google Sheets. Uh, so basically, in that specific case, um, you can do other stuff. I mean, I would like to store my post content inside Google Sheets, but maybe you want to create like the content within the automation. So let's say you create the content with ChatGBT and also you produce an image with ChatGBT image generation, whatever, okay? But what I mean, you can customize it. But for now, I would like to get uh, row and sheet and then um, just go ahead to my Google Sheet, which is posting with Blotado. Oops. I want to choose it and um, then choose sheet one. And by the way, if you would like to copy it, um, I mean this entire template and the resources of this material, I will be sharing with you the link from where you can just download everything. So JSON template instructions and so on. However, at the end of the video, I will show you exactly how to get it. But for now, we'll be using this specific template. So we just search for the status, which is not published in that case. Um, so we add the filter and then uh, we go ahead to status and we check for the value which is not published because if the video is published we don't want to get it and um, that's pretty um, simple okay so what we do uh, we just get this specific um, row which is um, the second row actually here okay this is the second row 
Uh, perfect. Then what we want to do is to set up an, um, a media URL, okay? Because when it comes to actually uploading, firstly, we need to upload the content to Blotato and then publish it from Blotato, okay? Straight away. But for that case, we need to have our media URL to just include inside uh, Blotato. So we can just name it as media URL and then just check it as the expression and just provide our specific um, our specific code snippet, which is this one. So what we do in that case, oops, not here. Um, in this case, what we do, we just say we want to take a drive google.com export and download. So we want to download the file. And then we've got this specific code, however, I created it for you and it retrieves for you just the ID, okay? Um, so we execute the step and then uh, go ahead with Blotato. So we've got our node right here in the right top corner and now we can upload the media. And for the, for the media URL, we just provide the link here. We execute the step. It's pretty straightforward. We've got our media uploaded to Blotato. And now is the time to actually create the post. So we use Blutato once again, we create the post, and then uh, what we need to do? We need to go ahead to Blutato, set up our account. Once again, if you think of using Blutato for longer, you can just use code which is, which is Christian10 for 20% discount. And then you've got 20%. And what you do after you set up your account, um, you log in with Twitter, with LinkedIn, with Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Threads, and any platform you want. And you do it very simply. So let's say I would like to disconnect Instagram. And now let me show you. You just log in with Instagram. Um, you just hello, okay? So you just log into your account. And then afterwards, you're ready to go. So you're ready to copy, like choose your Instagram account. And now basically, if I'm here, I can choose my account. So first you choose the Instagram, Facebook, any other platform I have. So Instagram, choose my account. And now it's pretty straightforward. So we take for the text, I just provide the title and then I provide just my description. So caption, okay? And for the media URL, I just take my media URL here, provide it. And now right away, I can execute the step. It's really simple. Accidentally, I see I provided here, but variable, it should be obviously from upload potato. Now, once again, let's execute it. And afterwards, when we go back to Blotato, we click here on Publish Posts. We can see our post is published. So here, um, actually, even we can click here and just check. So 51 seconds ago, so it successfully published it. And now for other platforms, what you do, you go here, you can click, you can click on this node, click Control D, and just duplicate like this specific um, node for nine times actually. So here you can just organize it, and then basically everything is pretty straightforward. So what you do, you just connect other social media. So let me do this. And now, for example, let me name it as Instagram, Instagram. Okay. Then um, simply what we do, we name it as Facebook. And you just connect it. Okay. You just connect it here. And the only thing what you do, you just change um, the platform. It's simple as that. Okay. You've got Facebook. You can pick Facebook page. So here, remember about an account. Just pick Facebook page. And then what you do, you execute the step and you publish the content successfully on other platform. So once again, the content is published here on Facebook. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward to do. And remember, you can connect nine different social media platforms. After you set up the entire automation, it should look like this. So you've got multiple different platforms. And also additionally, what we do, we connect Google Sheets. Actually, we set up the node to update the row and sheet. And basically here, we just track um, the row ID based on this node, so what it returns. And then we update the status to published. And in that case, what we do, we just avoid the content to be published that was already published on the platforms, if that makes sense. So it's lo it looks pretty straightforward. Basically, for other platforms, you provide the same things. So text, media URLs, you provide the account. Also, what's very important, you can schedule the post. So at the scheduled time, so it's, so, so it's really handy. Um, so yeah, you can do it this specific way. And basically, if you would like to get this entire template, actually totally for free, 
along with Google Sheets, um, actually template and all of the code snippets. You go ahead to our AI Enthusiasts community, which is in the description of this video, the link to it. You go to Classroom, YouTube Resources, and then uh, you check this, uh, this, this post, which is post to nine socials with Blotato, and you've got um, this code snippet, Google Sheets, and the JSON template um, to copy. For now, I can say this is everything. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, remember to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Click the subscribe button. It's very important. If you enjoy the content, also write a comment or even just um, let me know what you think would be great for the next video. For now, thank you for watching once again and I will see you in the next material.